Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back from part two where we looked at step 3A, drafting the basic front panel. Step 3B, creating the neckline. Step 3C, adding the chest pocket. Now, in part three, we are looking at step 3D, adding hip pocket and determining the first button guideline. <laughs> Come to point B. To create a new front bottom shaping hemline at point 21, come to point B. Mark downwards 0 0.5 inches. Then, from point 21, measure and mark upwards code full length plus 0 0.5 inches is divided by 3 to get point 22. That is 29 plus 0 0.5 divided by 3, giving me 9.8 inches. At point 22, square across a straight line and this will be the first button stroke hip pocket placement guideline now we are done with determining the hip pocket and first button guideline next step 3 e adding the chest and waist dart get the midpoint of a to c Mark it point F. At point F, square down a straight line and this will be the dart line. That's a seams or sew in folds that help to shape the fabric of a garment so as to fit the contours of the body. Now, from point F to G, measure and mark downwards 2 inches to get the dart point or the apex. <music> At point G, square down a straight dart leg line. This H will be our waistline point. Then this I will be our hip line point. Now, at point H, mark H to 1 0 0.5 inches dart intake. And H to 2 is the same as H to 1. The farmer in the dell. Hi ho the dairy -o, the farmer in. Square these measurements down to hip stroke first button guideline to create point 3 and L. The dell. The farmer takes the wife. The farmer takes the wife. Hi ho the dairy -o, the farmer takes the wife. Now, 
connect point G two three. The wife takes the child, the child takes the nurse, the child takes the nurse. Hi ho the dairy ho the ch and point G one and I together to create that legs. Child takes the nurse. Ladies and gentlemen, we are done with that placement. Next. Cow, the nurse takes the cow. Hi ho the dairy. Step 3F. Creating front side that cut line. So the nurse takes the cow. The cow takes the dog. The cow takes the dog. Hi ho the dairy. Oh, the cow takes the dog. Create point J at this intersection point. The dog takes the cat. The dog takes the cat. Hi ho the dairy -o. The dog takes the cat. The cat takes the mouse. The cat takes the mouse. Hi ho. At point J, mark upwards J to 4, 0 0.5 inches for that cut line. Oh, the dairy -o. The cat takes the mouse. Then connect point four to three together to create the dirty cut line. Stands alone, the cheese stands alone. Hi -ho. Next is to create a shift of the new shaping side seam line. Ladies and gentlemen, this seam line shift helps to contour the jacket to its original shape and comfort by ensuring a better fit and prevents fabric shortage during stitching. Oh, the dairy -oh, the cheese. Now, at point 4, mark outwards 4 to K, 0 0.5 inches. The mouse takes the cheese, the mouse takes the cheese. Hi ho the dairy -o. the mouse takes the cheese. The cheese stands alone, the cheese stands alone. Hi ho the dairy -o. the cheese stands alone. Hi ho the dairy -o. the cheese stands alone. Still at point four, mark upwards four to five, five inches. Then connect point five to K together to create new front side seam line. Next, step three G, adding the hip pocket. Determine the placement of the hip pockets. These are classically positioned on the lower portion of the coat front, slightly above the hemline. Now, mark from I to L your pocket extension of 0 0.75 inches. At point L to 9, measure and mark outwards 6 inches pocket width is plus 1 inch for seam allowance plus 1 inch for that intake, giving us the total of 8 inches. Still at point L, mark downwards L to 6. 2.5 inches for pocket flap height. At point 6, just square point L to 9 to create point 7. After, connect these points together to create the outline of the hip pocket flap. And ensure it is balanced and aligned with the coat's design. Beautiful! As you can see, we have already created our 
flap. Now, we are done with the hip pocket. Next, step four, determining the double-breasted overlap and buttons. To determine the desired overlap, here is a step-by-step -step guide to calculate the standard overlap. For a typical overlap, you divide the total chest measurements by certain factor. Typically, it ranges between 6 to 8, depending on the desired fit and the style. For example, if your round chest is 38 inches and you are using a factor of 6, then the overlap will be approximately 6.3 inches. And if you are using a factor of 8, then the overlap will be approximately 4.75 inches. Still using the calculation of your chest 38 divided by 8 giving you 4.75 inches. However, it is important to note that the proper calculations can be different depending on the factors such as personal preference, garment and coat style, and the fabric stretch. But for this tutorial, let us go with factor 6, which is chest 38 divided by 6 giving me 6.3 inches. That means for each side of the front panel overlap would be 6.3 inches divided by 2 giving me 3.16 inches. I repeat, each side of the front panel overlap would be 6.3 inches divided by 2 giving me 3.16 inches of the factor 6. Now, step 4a. Come to point 22. Measure and mark upwards from 22 to 23, 4 inches for the second button placement guide. Next is to determine the overlap with this. At the center front, I abbreviate it as CF, point 23, measure and mark outwards from point 23 to 26, your breast overlap, chest 38 divided by 6, giving us 6.3 inches, divided by 2, giving me 3.16 inches. Still at point 22, measure and mark outwards from point 22 to 27, the same as 23 to 26. Then square these 3.16 inches measurements all the way to the hem allowance line. Then square the outline of the overlap. Next, step 4b, button placement. Decide on the number of buttons you want for your double-breasted coat and their placement. A common option includes 6 or 8 buttons, even less paced along the center front line. Measure and mark the position for the buttons on both front panels, ensuring they align with each other when the coat is closed. Now, at point 27, mark inwards 27 to 24, 0.5 inches button allowance. Twenty-six to twenty-five is the same as twenty-seven to twenty-four. Twenty-four to thirty-four is four inches. Twenty-five to thirty-five is the same. 
4 inches Sate four to M four inches. Farmer in the dell, the farmer in the dell. Hi ho, the dairy o, the farmer in the dell. The farmer takes the wife, the farmer takes the wife. Hi M to seven. 1.5 inches or 2 inches for the chest button. Hey ho, the dairy -o, the farmer takes the wife. The wife takes the child, the wife takes the child. Hi ho, the dairy -o, the wife takes the child. The child takes the nurse, the child takes... Note, mark the corresponding button holes on the opposite front panel ensuring they align with the button when the coat is closed. Takes the nurse. Hi ho the dairy -o, the child takes the nurse. The nurse takes the cow. The nurse takes the cow. Hi ho the dairy -o, the nurse takes the cow. The cow takes the dog. The cow takes the dog. Hi ho. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Congratulations, you have successfully learned how to add chest and waist dart to your coat, create the front side dart cut line, adding the hip pocket, determining double breasted overlap and button placement. Next, let us, find, let us meet in part four, where we will be seeing a lot of climax as we conclude our Coat. Enjoy the drafting and watch this video repeatedly. Pause video in a segment that you don't understand and get be have your notebook so that you note down. So, guys, this is what I had for you in part three. See you in part four. Bye bye. Shalom. God bless you all. I sign out. <music>